Hello, welcome back. Last time I got three more days of the winter solstice done. Uh, three to go. I can probably get them done today. I've, I've gone through the longest day so far, which is this one. Uh, pretty sure nothing else takes as long as that. Alright, on the tenth day there are a bunch of monsters. Shallow water, a wraithwing, a guard... Right, wraithwings are a thing we'll have to deal with. There'll be a slayer in the final room. Or is it two slayers? There might be a... There might be a slayer in the next room. Uh, okay, so pretty sure that's the only way I can enter, because all flick beams go over tunnels and I would be stunned otherwise. By Solstice Bylaws, Rich Queens must not be allowed to lay eggs. I'm gonna have to use one of you to get to this. I could do it immediately, because it's gonna be a pest for a while, but the thing is, like, I need... At a glance here, it seems like I need more stepping stones than I can make, because there's a goblin, an evil eye, a roach, and a roach queen. All surrounded by water, I need the guard's help. Guard's gonna have to kill at least some of these monsters. Okay, which means I should feel free to use the construct right now to kill the omplik, because it's gonna get in my way. Okay, let's do that a little more efficiently. If I, let's see, so I'm gonna face this way, do the scrolling animation a whole bunch. Go here and immediately let this happen. There we go. Now guard. Thank you. Oh, Blake does that. I'm just going to push this water skipper, then kill it. Guard does that. Thanks, guard. Um, now I need you not to kill me. There we go. You want to kill that goblin too? Uh, evil Eye can be awake. That's fine. Not a problem. Alright, this room actually looks very trivial. All I had to see was use guard to kill some monsters. And yes, I'm gonna have to kill the guard now, but that's not too big a deal, I think. There we go. Rock Golem, I can just extract you and kill you. Okay, so this room is like, kind of a nothing. That's fine though. Perfectly enjoyable. Oh, hey, Wraithwing, I'm gonna have to kill you. Okay, so perhaps the smarter thing to do uh, would be to use this dude as a Wraithling obstacle. Probably didn't put him in the best possible place for that, but you know what? It'll have to do. It won't have to do. I can go back and change my mind, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna do it just like this. That yeah, Wraithling, you hold still and I do this. Okay. That was the little last minute puzzle. Be sure to keep the guard at a distance using shallow water to hide. Well, that's not exactly what I did. <laughs> But what I did worked. Briars. Yeah, there's a Slayer. He's gonna start whispering to me once I come in here. This looks like a relatively simple fight room. Just survive versus Slayer. Okay. So yeah, only immediately apparent challenge is that a Slayer wants to kill me. Also, I move with an awkwardness that pains him. But that's not really my concern. That sounds like his problem. So I'm just going to sort of keep on the move. Alright, how am I going to kill this goblin? It's always a trick with a pick. Maybe the slayer can do it for me. Thank you. Yeah, okay, he's kind of right on me. This could start becoming a problem very soon. I can forge my own way with a pickaxe, but he is uncomfortably close. I'm just barely safe here. It's fine. I could, if I really wanted to be crafty, probably find a way to, like, have Construct rubble, rubble or Golem Rubble trap me in a place. Hmm, with every briar I cut, I'm shortening the route the Slayer has to take to get to me. Ooh, that's right, I forgot you would do that. Let's do this. Uh, I was saying something at some point. I don't know what it was. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to. There we go. I don't have a sword, I just got a pickaxe. There we go. No problem. Just dance around a slayer a little bit. The extra time taken to carve multiple looping paths is worth the delay. Nah, no it's not. Just do whatever you want. <laughs> Kill the things. Okay, final room. And on the twelfth day he rested. Ah, okay. So the final, um, Gentrii, who was traded for... 
A tar mother. Got it. So tar mother traded for gentry eye, used to encircle this and turn this into a non rune. Well, I can't reach that. All right, it's just ornamental. Can't reach this either. What can I do? This. And even this. <laughs> All right, cool. And that's the 12 days of winter solstice. Still a really good time. Um, but seeing it through today's lens, uh, I understand why everyone else didn't also rate it 10. I thought that was just the best thing the first time I played it. This time around, it was, it was good. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I have a different perspective today. Still had a good time there. Okay, so, uh, this puts me in the position of having... to choose another entry. <laughs> it took me a while to say those words. <laughs> and then there were none, no. Um, I'm gonna have to rip off that band-aid someday, but ugh. Um, no, no, not today. <laughs> not today. Abandoned warehouse, maybe. Kinda inclined to go to abandoned warehouse. Let's see if there's anything that seems like more appropriate than that. I could do this. You know what? Let's do this. Beethro in the cold corridor. As Beethro walked down the stairs, the first thing he noticed was the cold. As he stared down the long corridor ahead, he wished he had a pair of gloves and some earmuffs, maybe even a warmer jacket. However, Beethro had none of those things. So, gripping his sword with his freezing hands and his teeth chattering, Beethro set off down the long corridor before him. Okay. So, uh, goblins. Goblins, pressure plate, hot tile. Step on this, that happens. Step on this, I can't get out. But it's weird that it opens this, so that has to happen as the last action in the room. Alright, so, um... I need to escort some goblins to a hot place in a cold place. And avoid them doing that. So this boils down to a turn order puzzle of sorts. I need to shuffle these guys into an arrangement where they won't do that. All right, so let's think about this a little bit. Let me observe what happened there. So I can not do this. If I proceed this way, it looks to me as though the formation I want is one, two, three, four, five. So then that turn order needs to be like early in the front, late in the back, right? We got one and two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's already sorted. But the problem is, those are not north enough. Yeah, so I can guide three along there just fine. Can't tell between those two, but yeah, I, th I need two on the top and three on the bottom. And they need to be in the proper order. Alright, let's shuffle some goblins around a whole lot. So what do we have here? This is one, two, four, five, three. So three there is actually fine. This order is fine. I did it. Uh, if I can... I almost did it. Um, uh, maybe if I do... Okay, so that's where the problem starts. This is almost okay. This is almost okay, but not quite. Whoa. Alright, so I definitely have to be facing like this. Only problem is number five over there. All right, so in order to fix this problem, I want you two to be closer to each other. But I don't think I get to do that, really. Oh. Wait, how do... how does... how do I even... begin to approach such a thing? I'm actually not really sure at this point. I've done this. In an emergency, I could go back and look at my old demo. Uh, well, I couldn't inspect move order there if I did. Alright, so just doing the simple thing like that ends up with a formation that is almost correct. It's just five isn't in the right place. And he goes too far down that way. And then I would make that move and get through there, sure. So number five over there, you are my problem. How will I address that problem? 
What if I just wait a turn? And another turn? Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. What did I do? I literally faced this... Okay, so... Let's get a first place tie. I go here, face this way, step here, wait twice. Do I even have to wait twice? Yes. Do this. Step. Uh, uh. Let's see. Trying to see if I can get more kills at once. I have, um, oops, that's not the button I wanted. I've hidden my turn counter. This is the first time in a while that I've actually wanted it. So that was at 35 when the room was clear. I don't know why I'm optimizing now, but I've apparently decided to. Still 35. Okay, I think that's the best I'm going to do. That's a fifth place. What, how is, how is there a faster way than this? Oops. 34. What do you do that's so magic? Ah, different sword rotations, of course. <laughs> I wasted those turns by doing it up front. Also, that ending looked better than mine. Okay. Uh, Disoriented's a better optimizer than me. Good for him. Uh, oh, yeah, this one. There's a slayer. I can kill him. If I want. Unless I need to mimic, which I probably do in here. Okay. You can run, but you cannot obscure yourself. He doesn't know the word hide. <laughs> or I can't think of it at the moment. Uh, let's see. So... I remember this room being kind of broken last time I tried to do it. Um... Let's see. So I certainly have to go in here. Trapdoors need to drop so I can get to these monsters. There are a lot of monsters used up in this room. This seems to be a monster dump. I'm going to have a pickaxe. There's going to be a slayer. Uh, so I'm going to have a speed potion and have a mimic here trying to drop a bunch of trapdoors. So how do you die? There's a fire trap. So once the Mimic gets there, those evil eyes die. I'm gonna have roaches coming toward me. Alright, so my inclination is to face my sword this way. Because what I spot here is... Alright, so let me just show how what this is gonna look like here. Uh, I'm guessing that opens that. It does. Uh, so here's the thing. I always have to make a diagonal step here, um, because any orthogonal steps would wake up an evil eye. Step on that plate and close my way out. So I can only step diagonally here. What I'm spotting is these two roach queens. This one can lay an egg there and have a roach come to me. This one would lay an egg there. Um, oh, I can't get to that spot because I can't step orthogonally, so no matter what, I'm going to have to deal with roaches coming from two angles. I was planning to step here and prevent a spawn and have my sword this way so I could more easily stab the one roach that comes from there, but I'm going to have to just deal with both of them, which is fine, I think. Uh... Have I done a bad? No, I think I'm okay. Oh, I have a speed potion. Okay, this is less of a concern than I thought. Oh, but diagonals only means that simultaneously trapdooring and mimicking is going to be a bit annoying. There's also a tar mother here for some reason. So here's a thing. If I, since my, my reason for facing this way didn't apply, I can, well, no, I still can't step here to stab that, because it's on the wrong color. I have to get on black, but I start on white. Uh, okay. So that lets the queens get out? What? Why would this be? 
Well, that just seems completely unnecessary. Because the arrows are facing that way, that orb will have no effect. Unless I'm ever in this quadrant or this quadrant, which I can't be. There are no ways I can step there. Okay, so I don't think this orb does what it's intended to do. <laughs> uh, Alright. So, just drop trapdoors real quick before these become a problem. Maybe it would be advantageous to, for one... Oh! I've never heard a Slayer say that before. Or at least not for so long that I've forgotten he ever says, says that. This Slayer has some weirdly rare quotes. My hook yearns to meet you. Alright, so I'm waiting this amount of time. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 18, 19, 20. Uh, waiting this amount of time so that I can stab these roaches as they come. No, there are ormites there. This is a bad strategy. Never mind. I don't want to do that. All right. Let's just go now. Uh, let's see. So I can't do that because this is here. Also, there's a brain. Oh, these are brained. I didn't even realize that. Okay, that changes a few things. Oh, I'm forced to turn my sword that way, so it doesn't even matter. Okay. Alright. Ormites are Ormites. And they do what Ormites do. Um, I'm trying to make a thing happen here that just does not seem to want to happen. So that's what I did instead. Tar squish noise. Uh, I can't make you land there, so you're gonna have to die in those spikes. So that's why those spikes exist. Things I'm doing with the mimic might be ill-advised, but this is what I've done. The problem with this is it's I only get diagonals and it's real hard to stab this roach. I did it. Let's hope that's the only time I have to do that. Okay, so Mimic cut off his path. Mimic cut off his path. But I have to do this to stab the roach. So I think I've probably put myself in an unwinnable situation here. So if I could drop that particular trapdoor there before I go anywhere, it seems like it would set me up better for the future. So the Mimic will just leave me alone for a moment here. But I want the Roach on white because my sword is on white. Okay. Uh, so I have a problem here. I have to make one of those moves, which is fine. I can just do that. There we go. Uh, so, Tar Mother, you got to be stabbed. I can't turn my sword, so that's not great. Okay, this is... All kinds of problematic. So floor spikes have just gone, which makes Mimic safer than it would otherwise be. But no, this is none of this works. Uh, many things are broken here. I'll try this, I guess. It doesn't feel good. I'm too far north is the problem. Can I, like, get a tar baby to help me with that problem? A little bit, yes. Thank you. Um, okay, that's... Whoa, okay, right. Can't turn my sword. Which means Mimic is gonna have to land here. There we go. And which also means that this tar baby is a problem. Okay, so I can't drop those. All right, so this is kind of awkward. I do have to open the trapdoor gates. Uh, all 
Alright, can I just make this all happen differently? That seems better. I can uh, do this and that. And then move you there. So that seems like a better way to go about things. Tar baby, help me out. Uh, that tar baby, though. So don't drop that trapdoor yet, somehow. I can't avoid that. Okay, let's do something different then. There, I stabbed that. Made a smooth surface so you'll find your way to the floor spikes. Okay, so go north, do this, stab Tar Mother on your way out. Uh, problem. That doesn't work. Okay. So this is made kind of annoying. Yeah, this is made incredibly annoying. Nothing about this works. So I need to approach this differently, I guess. Alright, tar portion of this room I am not really enjoying. Yeah, I'm stuck in a corner. Okay, mimic leverage. With trapdoors, with tar on them. Like, really? Is this necessary? Also, that mimic gonna die. Alright, so what's a better approach for this? I don't get to turn my sword. But I can change the way the Mimic faces its sword initially, because that's the way my sword faces. Maybe that's my problem. I have the wrong Mimic sword facing. I didn't think about that until now. Let's try... this way. Maybe. Let's see. I, I don't know. I feel like North is going to be the best. Alright. Let's do all this again! I'm so excited. Uh, all right. I don't know what I did exactly. I'm just gonna kind of do that for a while. I'd love it if I could take care of this tar mother real early, just so that I don't have to think about the that problem anymore. It seems almost like I did that, but that's not right. And I am going to have to worry about tar babies. Also, this doesn't work at all. Alright, so that approach was no good. Roach is on the wrong color. Everything is terrible. Alright, so that approach didn't work. So I have the Mimic stopped, but he trapped himself with the trapdoors. Alright. Well, not having a good time here. There might be something I'm missing, but this is how the room has presented itself to me. Alright, so let me worry about Beethrow for a moment. See, I don't get the, the option not to move for a turn. Like, this roach right here is the biggest problem. So I need to position myself well to deal with it before I worry about really much of anything else. I'm gonna do that. And not be able to put the Mimic where I want it. Okay. I mean, Mimic's technically not stuck. I'm second-guessing my choice to face it north now. Yeah, let's just see what happens. So 
So I stabbed that. And you did the wrong thing. Okay, so I'm gonna stab that. There we go, that's better. That's better. That seems quite a bit better, actually. Okay, that is far preferable to what happened before. I think I'm good now. Yes, I see the Slayer getting closer to me. Okay, so I have a slight problem here, which might be solvable... Oh, it might not, though. Let me do this. That won't help me. Well, okay, so I have to make these moves. I have to make that move. Like, I just can't get any leverage in the direction I really want it. Uh, I might have improved my situation. I did. There we go. Okay, I did it. Okay, this mimic is facing the wrong way. Ah! But it's okay because I can turn my sword now, so that's fine. Alright. Things are alright now. So I get a pickaxe. I can destroy that. Goblin's coming that way for some reason. Uh, I had a speed potion, so things are awkward, and I wasn't supposed to do that, apparently. I don't need a pickaxe. So, let's uh, plan this a little bit differently. Let me make that happen then. Slayer is here, which means he's going to be in close combat. Okay, this is a better situation. I don't really want this pickaxe, so I'm not going to take it. I'd rather have my sword. Hmm. Hmm. don't think this is going to work, though. <laughs> uh, okay, so fine. Let's take the pickaxe then, see if it helps. Uh, I don't technically have to use this orb immediately, and it does absolutely nothing, so it doesn't even matter. Okay. Here we go. This is workable. I have a speed potion, so everything's pretty friendly. Okay. I can even kill a goblin with a pickaxe. See, this is why I wanted a sword, because, like, with a speed potion, pickaxe actually kind of doesn't work as well with its main way of killing. It's fine, though. That Slayer really wants to stab me right now. You know what I could do, though? I could do this. Okay, there we go. Clear. I cleared the room. Okay, that was doable. Second place, huh? <laughs> Alright then. Uh, so this room used to be super broken. Is it still? Because I could just walk over here and it would clear itself pretty much. Yeah, I think the presence of that tunnel... ...means that... Let me just see about this. Queen died. Queen died. Yep, okay. So that's the easy way to do this room. And I think I'm just gonna take that and be happy with it because the hard way is really fiddly and unpleasant. Um, the mechanism that's supposed to be at play here is something about, like, time clones chasing the queen. The queens are supposed to get up here. Um, and then... What, come back down here for this? I don't know. I once, long ago, made an attempt at doing this room the, whole, the proper way. Had a super bad time with it, so I'm just going to accept the broken solution here. Uh, and take my fifth place for some reason because I wasn't as quick as I could have been. Uh, this might be the real way to do it. 
Let's just let somebody else go through the pain so that I don't have to. Yeah, so this is Roach Queen um, attraction or repulsion, I guess, uh, to keep them alive for participating in these mechanisms that are technically optional. But I just want to see how this ends up playing out. So a bunch of walking around and waiting in very specific ways, then doing it again with a different time clone. Okay, let's let's watch this watch this roach. So you wait like that. Then when you step south, ah, okay, those two ratchet it like that, so it bounces back and forth. Lays eggs there so it can turn around. Then those need to end up there. You do a different dance to keep the relative distances the same. And get that back down there. This could be an interesting puzzle if it was set up um, in a non-broken way. But also it's kind of just not really fun to try and execute because it's a bunch of recording time clones seeing one small error, then having to remember like 200 moves you input, make one small tweak, re-record, and try again, and then continue the debugging process for like 10 iterations until you actually get it to work. Oh right, this guy has to do double duty because he has to chase this queen and this queen in a different way. The dance looks real good when you get it together. So we got close, close, distant, distant, uh, if you see what I mean. Like, this is close to this roach queen, this is far from this roach queen. Those are the only controls you get, your horizontal position, because your vertical position has to be synchronized with whoever's dancing with you on the other side. That is a real nice dance. <laughs> okay, it looks cool, but uh, you're just going to have to take my word for it when I say the process of getting here is incredibly unpleasant. So thank you to Jangler NPL for recording that demo so that I don't have to. <laughs> All right, um, there's a bunch more rooms here. This is a long linear corridor. Um, how many are there? I think it's just three more. Okay, four more. There's a Wraithwing room. There's a Wraith. Okay, so it's more than that. Um, let's look. There's that Wraithwing room. I remembered this one. And then that's the end. Okay, so. It's one, two, three, four more rooms. Okay, that's not so bad. Uh, sure, so four more rooms of this next time. And I suspect that won't take me the whole time, but you never know until you actually do it. <laughs> All right, I'll see you then for that.